Now, campaigners claim some cereal manufacturers are hiding high levels of sugar in their products by shunning colour-coded labels. The traffic light system is endorsed by the Department of Health because it helps shoppers identify healthy products at a glance. Action on sugar is calling for this form of labelling to be introduced across all food and drink products. Manufacturers say they provide clear nutrition information. Well, we're joined now by Cawther Hashem, a nutritionist at Action on Sugar. Cawther, altogether you looked at 25 cereal manufacturers. What did you find? Well, we found that uh, some of these products don't have that colour-coded labelling that really enables consumers at a glance to identify if that product is red for uh, sugars or for salt or for fat. We found that um, some of these maybe upmarket products don't have any uh, type of labelling on front of pack and that all the supermarkets do have front of pack colour-coded labelling enabling people to make more informed choices. So, so what do you take from that then? I mean, are manufacturers deliberately then kind of trying to hide the sugar content? Perhaps, particularly if they know that some of those products will get a red for sugars, for example, or a red for salt, um, and they, w they wouldn't like to see that on their, on, on their packaging. And so uh, it's either they're reformulating those products or they're trying to reduce the levels of sugar of, of those products and then putting that type of labels or just avoiding altogether putting that type of label. And in a, real, in a realistic sense, I mean, the, the diet of, of consumers, some people like their wheat bix, some people like their such and such else, I mean, wh wh what actual difference would that make to someone's diet if they had that particular information, do you think? Well, you know, there's about 120,000 products on supermarket shelves. Having easier labels really could save time, time for consumers, for vi busy parents. And I think that's very important because we want people to be able to see those products at a glance and make the decision to go for uh, amber and green over reds. Uh, and if we don't have them on the branded products, then people are not making those uh, comparisons between products uh, and choosing those that are lower. So it can be really helpful, and I think more branded companies should um, take that on board. And, uh, several branded companies would, would say that they go beyond the legal the legal obligation that that that, that they're obliged to, to carry out in a legal sense and, and actually put very clear information on the front of the packet uh, does that does that make a difference uh, in your view or are you, are you, do you go along with that I mean they are going beyond the legal requirement but however this still this scheme of uh, color coded labeling you know the traffic lights this is recommended by the Department of Health and those companies are not going beyond that point um, to put that type of labels on their products. So I think they're doing the bare minimum um, and I think more, you know, we could ask more of them to make it easier for consumers to make informed choices. There's, there's an argument, I suppose, is there for just how easy does it have to be for consumers? We talk a lot about at a glance in these kind of conversations. I mean, are people informed enough, do you think, about what they're putting in their cereal bowl? Well, I think people are generally aware that, for example, we need to reduce levels of sugar in our diets. But I think when you see that there are products on supermarket shelves, they look very similar to you. But actually, when you look in details, they can contain up to 50% less sugar. I think that's when people would, would find uh, clearer labels more helpful. So there is a huge variation in levels of salt and sugar and fat in products and in very similar products. And I think people um, can find labeling be more uh, helpful if they were just clearer at a glance making those decisions because nobody really has the time to spend to look at labels in detail. Okay, we'll leave it there. Well, Cawther Hashem, a nutritionist with uh, Action on Sugar, thank you for joining us today.